In this lecture, I'll show you how to work on three different things. First, we'll take a look at how to work with cross-referencing our text, figures, tables within our document. Secondly, we'll take a look at how to work with footnotes and endnotes while working with large documents or your research paper. And third, we'll take, also take a look at how to insert citations and create a bibliography. Very, very important, especially when you're working with your large research documents or your article um, or your uh, research paper. These three techniques will help you um, long ways, okay? So let me begin. Here we have our uh, document open, uh, which is a sample, again, document, PhD research proposal. We've been working with this document for quite some time now, so by now you're probably familiar with this already. All right, so uh, in our references tab, up on the ribbon, okay, we have to find the captions group, and within captions, there's an option called cross-reference, okay? So cross-reference works very similar to uh, like hyperlinking, and it's really, really simple and easy to use, and yet very, very effective, okay? So for instance, down in my text here, um, at the end of the last paragraph or anywhere here, I'd like to be able to say for more details, see. All right, okay, so here is where I would like to create a cross-reference to um, another figure in my document. Now, if my document is 100 pages, I don't know where that figure is, right? Although I have created figures with captions, auto-captions, and we've, we've, we've learned this in the last uh, few tutorials, right? So. I have a bunch of figures um, in my document. I don't know where these figures are. The only thing I know that yes, I when I created these figures, I used the auto caption option or inserting captions with my figures. So each figure contains a caption. So I want to say uh, I want to create a cross reference. So all I have to do is just say for more details, see. Okay, once I'm here and my cursor is blinking, I go up to my uh, captions group on the ribbon, and this is under again the references tab and I click on cross-reference. Notice that as soon as I click on cross-reference, Word says, okay, well, for which caption do you want to reference, create a reference to? Whether it's figure one or figure two. Well, I want to use figure two. If I had more figures within my document, more images, right, or figures or tables or anything else, it would show. But my reference type here is figure. I can also select a table. Uh, this list is going to show. Right now, I just have one table. So let's say I want to link this to table one, and I'm going to use it as insert as hyperlink, and click insert, close, and Word inserts a field for me. And notice when I take my cursor on top of this field, it says uh, use your keyboard. I'm using your control key on the keyboard, plus click. It will take you to that table. So let me, let me demonstrate that for you. As soon as you uh, hold the control key on the keyboard, notice the cursor changes with a hand. So you click once, and now you're at table one. Okay, so this is my table. You get the idea. You can create cross references anywhere with any text, with any image, with any figures uh, within your document. Uh, very, very easy to navigate and tell the user or the reader know that what are you cross referencing. Okay, so fairly simple. Okay. All right, next let's take a look at how to create work with footnotes. Okay, so I'm interested in this. A group called footnotes which is again under the references tab everything that we're doing the last few tutorials is under the references tab right so in the footnotes group I can create or add some footnote okay a footnote is simply a text on my margin uh, on my uh, footer here at the end of the page uh, letting me know that I'm going to cite something or I'm going to reference something okay so for, for example Anywhere in your document, I'm just going to demonstrate creating a, a footer here. Okay, so let's let's say I'm reading this. The approaches to HRM here, right here. The approaches to HRM, which are laid out in our organization's corporate policy, are starkly different in various markets when they begin to globalize. Okay, so I want to cite this. I want to create a footnote here. The first thing is I need to make sure that I place my insertion point where I want this footnote to be, and simply go up to my footnotes group. On the ribbon here and click insert footnote and what it does it, it would add a footnote at the bottom um, of the page okay so I'm going to say insert a footnote and here's my footnote and I can say author it's 
Taylor John P thousand and one. Of course, I can format it. I can use styles, right? We've, we've done with that before. Okay. So this is uh, how you would start creating footnotes. And notice on my where I created the footnote, word places a little number one. Okay. So this is my first footnote, so it uses the number one. And when I hover over uh, this footnote, it actually in fact shows me who this footnote belongs to, what's what's in this footnote. If I double click on it, it will take me to the footnote again. So uh, you can create footnotes, you can continue creating footnotes. If I add another footnote, for example, uh, let's say I want to add it right here after the word professionals. Just make sure my insertion point is at, at the end of the word. Click insert footnote. And notice word automatically uses the number two as my second footnote. So in this case, I'm going to use Collins 2002. Okay, so I'm just making this up, right? You can have to make sure what citations you're using, what type of note you're using, what type of style, and we'll get to the, uh, the geography and citations a little, a little later also, okay? All right, so once you've created these footnotes, you can, you know, take a look at how to show notes. Uh, I want to show you some options working with footnotes. So if you click on the bottom right-hand corner of the footnotes group, notice the footnote and end note dialog box pops up. A footnote is obviously uh, straightforward. It places a footnote at the end of the page. An EndNote places at the end of the document, and which is right here. So EndNote's end of the document, and footnotes at the bottom of the page or below the text. So I have two options within my footnotes. I can convert all my footnotes to EndNotes, or convert EndNotes to footnotes and swap them um, if I like. Okay, so Word is, uh, gives me these options as well. I can match the section layout columns: one column, two, three, four. Okay. And depending upon my formatting structure, I can use the number format for my footnotes, one, two, three, A and C, or out, you know, whichever ones you want to pick. I can create a custom mark using the symbol, or I can have it start by one, so it'll be my first footnote, or I can start it with two. The numbering can be continuous, or it will restart after each section. Again, these are all are all options that I can. Uh, set up uh, before I start uh, inserting footnotes or endnotes. And the changes can be applied to the whole document or the page once I am there. All right, so um, I've shown you these options. I've shown you how to insert footnotes. It's fairly straightforward, uh, nothing complicated here. And for endnote, um, if I need to create an endnote, I just click, click on endnote and it'll take me to the bottom of the page, okay, at the end of the page, which is page 15. So here I can use the endnote. So I can say Doug 2003. So it just depends on how you want to create endnotes or footnotes. Okay? And show notes simply takes me to from one footnote to the other, and I can you know work work off of there. So double click on it, it'll take me to there. So just switching from one to the other. All right, the last thing I want to show you is working with these citations and bibliography group, which is again on our under the reference tab and we'll take a look at how we can create these citations. Notice in this document, let me go to my first citation here, reference here. Notice I've created some, some references here, okay? And these have to be first of all based on certain style, okay? What do I mean by style? Style is simply the citation style that, that you wish to choose or your college, university or your employer or whatever tells you uh, to use a certain style okay, of uh, citing references. And these styles are either um, APA, which is the American Psychological Association style, uh, the current is sixth edition, where I can use the Chicago style um, and so forth, the IEEE style is common, and then the um, MLA is also pretty common. Okay? So depending upon the style that you want to use, Word gives you all these options to pick the style of citations. Uh, the popular one, I guess, is, is APA style, uh, sixth edition. Uh, majority of the time, most of the time, we use this, or you'll end up using Chicago or MLA. So you have to be able to know these styles and uh, the way they are formatted. Each style is formatted to their own specific requirement. So we'll see how word how we can create these citations. All right. So create a citation. First, we need to tell Word, hey, I need to insert a citation. 
based on wherever I want to insert. So for example, in, in my text here in my paper, I like to insert a citation at the end of the paragraph, then I'm going to say insert citation and add new source. So once I click on add new source, Word asks me uh, what type of source am I going to be citing? Is it going to be a journal article? Am I citing a book? A book section? Am I referencing a article in a periodical? Contributing reports, a website. Okay, sometimes you um, so if, if it's a website, you just pick website, fill in the information, okay, name of a web web page, name it. E-learning, okay. Oops, this is the name, the year, this is November. And today is Monday, and here's my URL. So if I can, in, if I like to increase more fields, I can I can say show all bibliography fields, in which it gives me a, even, even the author name. Okay, so I can say, all right. So here's what I'm going to say: my author name. If there's an editor, producer, production company. I notice the red asterisk means um, these are mandatory, so you need to enter um, these names for sure if you're using fields. It's recommended field. Um, all right, so once you fill out with these fields, all these fields, any comments, short title, version, year accessed, okay, same thing, day accessed. So you can fill all these fields regarding the type of source you're citing. So once you're done, Word also generates a tag name. And the tag name will be used to uniquely identify this source. Okay, so it's uh, um, auto generated. You can also change the name if you wish to. So once I'm done creating the source, I click OK and notice words creates a field for me, which inserts the citation. Okay, similarly, if I need to cite here, I create an insert citation again. Um, I can add a new source, and this time my source is a journal article, um, and the author is John Collins, and the title is Management Sciences, the journal name is Management Journal, and I'm just, just typing here just to demonstrate to you, right? Okay, so it's 2014, and this journal has 250 pages. Okay, if I increase again the um, additional fields, um, I can say Publisher, so Sage. Okay, the Publisher, so titles, numbered issues, and I can, I can fill these fields. Because I'm creating the, the type of sources journal article, so anything that relates related to this particular journal, I can um, input all the information. Okay. And same thing if it's a corporate author, then I can enter that name, or um, I can just say uh, fill out all these fields. Okay. So month is November, and so forth. Okay. All right. So once I'm done, click OK. I notice Word inserts it another field for me, and the formatting is automatically based on the style that I'm using here, which is APA 6th edition. Okay, so whichever style I've selected, Word is going to automatically cite according to the requirements of this style. Okay, so even if you don't know the requirements of these styles, not to worry, Word will do that for you, especially for, for all these common styles. If these styles are not listed here, then you would have to create and make sure that you follow the certain style. Okay, and you have to manually do that. And that's really why I use this group as an add-in. Remember, you will not probably see this in your own Word 2013 uh, ribbon under the Reference tab. And I've, and I've told you a couple of times before in my tutorials, and I'm going to tell you again, that this is an add-in, right? So uh, if you don't see this on your ribbon, that's perfectly fine, okay? Citations and bibliography is what you are going to see on your ribbon. Okay? And the reason why you don't see this part Mendeley Cytomatic is because it's an add-in. And I can quickly show you file options under add-ins. Here's my add-in. That's why you see that on the web. 
I remove this, add in, then you're not going to see it. All right, so I just quickly want to show you this. All right, uh, back to inserting citations. So we have inserted two citations just as an example, and we're going to see how we create a bibliography next. So once I'm uh, at a place where I would like to insert the bibliography, I go up to my citations and bibliography group on the ribbon area. And under This is under, again, my refer uh, references tab. And I click on bibliography, and Word gives me some built-in options. Okay, a Note, for example, that these bibliographies are essentially building blocks in Word. Okay, And we work with them, so these are nothing but building blocks, and you can obviously edit them, change them, or create your own blocks. But Word gives me three uh, different built-in options. First is simply bibliography, the second is reference headings, and the third is works cited. So again, just three different types of headings. Uh, the rest is the same based on my style that I have selected Word is going to create this for me. Okay? So I'm going to say references, and as soon as I do this, Word creates a reference for me. Yeah, and of course I can format it a little bit so it shows up. Nice. So this is a good way to create a bibliography. Um, anything that changes now uh, within my uh, within any of these, notice these these are just up, update. I can update these citations by updating the table, okay, or right clicking on the table itself and click update field. It's going to update field for me. Okay. You can apply a style. In fact, so if I have a style, I can simply go up to my styles box and click style one and it applies the style. A uh, good way, okay. To create your citations and work with them. Uh, so practice, we've taken a look at in this tutorial how to work with cross-reference under the references tab, captions group. We've also looked at the footnotes group, how to insert a footnote and endnote. And we've also looked at the citations and bibliography group and how to uh, insert a citations, create a source, and then how to insert your references and bibliography. Okay? So I hope you have a little practice. Um, I'm sure it will be very, very easy uh, for you. Okay? So let's take a quiz.